I'm Dr. Roger Hines, and this is a moment in Palmer Chiropractic history. Dr. B.J. Palmer and several other Palmer graduates formed the Universal Chiropractors Association in 1906 to provide legal services to chiropractors in trouble. The first case was in 1907 in La Crosse, Wisconsin, when Palmer alumnus Shigataro Morikubu was arrested for practicing medicine, surgery, and osteopathy. Palmer hired former district attorney and state senator Tom Morris to defend the doctor. Tom Morris persuaded the Wisconsin district attorney to drop the charges of practicing medicine and surgery on the grounds that Morikubu had only used his hands in caring for his patients. The trial did, however, proceed on the charge of practicing osteopathy without a license. Tom Morris made the argument that chiropractic and osteopathy were distinctly different healthcare professions based on the fact that osteopaths consider the vascular system to be most important, while the chiropractors consider the nervous system to rule supreme. On this basis, the jury only required 23 minutes to acquit Dr. Morikubu. In part due to this successful defense, philosophy became a very significant term for chiropractors, and soon thereafter, the Palmer School began to award the Philosopher of Chiropractic degree. Morris was named Chief Legal Counsel for the UCA, a post he held unto his death in 1928. Although Dr. Shigataro Morikubu was not the first chiropractor arrested for practicing medicine without a license, D.D. Palmer was, Morikubu's case defined chiropractic as having a separate, distinct science, art, and philosophy. A great debt is due to all involved because this sets the foundation for our profession's right to practice.